Didn't sleep so well. I've had better nights. Look, I'm sorry, Sam. I just think we need to set a better example for the kids. By not sleeping together for God knows how long? Race with her parents. I know, Sam. But in the eyes of the church, we're not really married until I get the annulment from David and you and I take our vows again. Now, I really think that our actions have adversely affected Kay. I'm sorry she was so rough on you last night. Rough? You know, she said words I didn't even think she knew. I just got to find a way to reach her and make her realize that Charity and Miguel are meant to be together. And that, and that love isn't always easy. Look, I'll do whatever you want. I really missed you last night. <laughs> oh, I missed you too. <laughs> hey. Sorry, <laughs> I should have knocked. No, you know our house is yours. How's Charity this morning? She's doing great. All the doctors are saying so. Actually, I, I just came back from the hospital. I slept in the chair by her bed. Welcome to the club. What's that, Chief Bennett? Oh, nothing. Anyway, I just swung by to grab a shower before I go back. Great, well, you know where everything is. <laughs> All right, thanks, Mrs. Ben. Yeah. Wish I was feeling like a shower myself. Mm -hmm. So you're absolutely sure that Sam and Grace slept apart? I am positive. I'm looking at them right now. And by the looks of it, Sam is not very happy with his new sleeping arrangements. Oh, great. I could use some good news. It's been hell around here with Teresa playing queen for a day. I'm not interested in your problems. In fact, this phone call, just consider it my notice. Excuse me. Yep, I'm quitting. I, uh, I've got some important business out of town, and frankly, I'm just not interested in your rotten scheme to snare Sam anyway. Well, I don't accept your resignation, David. Unless, of course, you want me to go public with your sordid past, but I didn't think you wanted your dear, precious son, John, to know about his dear old dad. You are a rotten, disgusting little... I will save it for your memoirs, David. You will meet me where we planned. You're not backing out of me. Unless, of course, you want me to make sure that your son despises you for the rest of your life. Damn you, Ivy! I knew you'd come around. How long have you been standing there? This is preposterous. I will not be blackmailed by my servants gutter snipe daughter you tell her pookie you can call me whatever you want the judge declared me mrs julian crane meaning i have certain rights in this family i want a job julian an important job with an important title well you can just forget that because we do not hire crane women you do now she's really not backing down no she isn't I think it's great she wants to work. She make a good example for her son. I don't think this has anything to do with Teresa wanting a job. Neither do I. This is all about Ethan. With Teresa, it's always all about Ethan. What is it you want to tell me? Well, it's something I've wanted to tell you for a while. It's just that I couldn't because of how sick we thought you were. Well, there's no reason to hold back now. You heard Dr. Russell. You seemed to be A-OK. -okay. So, out with it. I'm tired of being the only one in the dark here. So many things have happened to us both in this life and in the past to keep us apart. But it stops here, all right? No more. I vow never to let anything come between us ever again. Not even my umbrella. 
Antonio swore he and I would never be separated either. Yeah, well, that's too bad for him. Because I found you first. <laughs> and I am not giving you up. Listen to me, okay? Just listen to everything that I have to say. I'm listening. What's so important that everyone's been tiptoeing around me for days? I... Look, it's like this. You Louise! See? Whatever you were going to say, can you just hold on for a minute? Not now, Dr. Russell. But no, it really can't. I'm afraid okay. it's going to have to. Yes, this is Dr. Russell. I'm in the ER. I'm still waiting for Mr. Lopez Fitzgerald's medication. Wait, okay. I thought Antonio was all right. Why does he need anything else? Yeah, what's going on, Dr. Russell? I thought you said I was fine. Am I out of the woods or not? reason your last name is Crane is because I married you in a drunken stupor. Oh, don't remind me. That was the most vile night of my entire life, but I will be damned if I don't get something out of it for me and my son. You're living in a mansion staffed by servants for crying out loud. You should be on your hands and knees thanking me for your step up in the world. I want a job, Julian, a real one with decision-making authority. Oh, this is absurd. You couldn't even be a, a typist at Crane Industries. Did you even graduate from high school? Yes, I did. Well, you certainly never set foot at university. So what? I'm smart, I'm very ambitious, and I can learn to do anything. She's not taking no for an answer, Julia. She's amazing. You know, just when you think she's down and out for the count, she comes back like the Terminator with a strategy to get Ethan back. I can't stop her. Of course you can. Her reign here is going to be very short lived. I don't think I understand. <laughs> Neither do I. Look, I can't go into details, but even as we speak, I am waiting for a very important phone call. And if I get the information that I am hoping for, none of us will ever have to worry about Miss Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald again. Answer me, John. How long have you been standing there? I just came in. Why? Well, nothing. I, you know, you surprised me. I'm sorry. I, I just wanted to tell you I was heading over to the Bennetts. I've actually got to go over there, too. I wanted to uh, check on Grace. Sure thing. Well, listen, you go over there, and I will, I will catch up with you. Dad? Yes? Thank you for bringing me to Harmony and letting me get to know my mother. She's perfect. Yeah, she's... Uh, she's very special. No wonder you fell in love with her and got married. Thanks. And I still can't believe the things Kay said to you. Yeah, well, neither can I. Hey, just get Stop your talking. hands off me, you bitch! We will continue this after you have calmed down. Well, don't count on that. That is company. enough, Kay. Don't you get it yet? I don't give a flying Kay! I don't believe that you were going to use that word. Well, believe it. I think it'd make you happy I'm using curse words now because that just gives you another reason to hate me. You know, she got so worked up telling me what she thought of me. She almost used the F word. You know, I'm going to ground that girl. No, Sam. Well, she's certainly not going to get away with using language like that with her own mother. I just don't think that punishing her is the right thing to do. I mean, for her to lash out like that, she must be having some really terrible emotional pain. And you think this is about a crush on Miguel? She just can't believe that Miguel loves charity. And to make matters worse, she thinks I always take charity's side. I mean, you don't think I play favorites, do you? Of course not. You've treated all of your children fairly. 
Well, I've tried, but maybe I've failed. You know, our family has really grown in the last couple of years. I mean, first, we took on charity when my sister died. And then we both found out that we had sons we never knew existed. We just had to deal with charity. And Ethan, and now John. And Jessica seems to love all the new siblings. I just don't know what happened to Kay. Kay's always been extra sensitive. Now she feels like the low man on the totem pole. Well, it still doesn't excuse any of the things she said to you. No, I guess not. But I, I gotta find a way to make her realize that the whole world isn't against her the way she seems to think it is. And that just because Miguel loves charity doesn't mean that she can't live a happy, fulfilling life. Think she'll listen? I don't know. But she's got to learn that you can't get love through manipulation. People either love you or they don't. Sure. Got a pretty busy morning. I have to go back out to the crane mansion. You were just there. You ought to still have to question Julian. But I thought he didn't know who shot him. He claims he doesn't know, but I'm still wondering how much he knew about Teresa's almost execution and when he knew about it. You think Ivy will be there? I suppose. Hey, you're still not worried about me and Ivy, are you? No. I know you love me. With all of my heart. Mm. What's wrong? Oh. I don't even want to tell you. I, I just had a premonition last night. I can feel evil creeping back in. And I know it'll hurt the people I love very much. Ivy. It's silly. I'm not going to bother you with it. Okay. Hey. You sure you're all right? Absolutely. Go have a good morning. Mm. <laughs> I've heard your premonition is right, Grace. Ivy's not going to stop until she gets her hooks into Sam. Whatever you have got up your sleeve, I hope it works this time. I don't know how much more of Teresa I can take. I'm not expecting anyone. Get rid of them. Uh, let them in, Phyllis. I'm expecting people this morning. Oh, okay. How does she get her nerve? Mrs. Crane, I hope I'm not too early. Oh, Mrs. Crane, my foot! Charlotte, what are you doing here? Mrs. Crane asked me to come. I am Mrs. Crane, which you know very well, Charlotte, since you've been my personal shopper for years. Of course. But you look so ravishing <laughs> today. Would you like to go over the items we discussed? Yes, I can't wait to see them. What the devil are you up to? Julian... You seem to think that I have this learning disability. Well, I don't. You see, in my time spent working as Ivy's personal assistant, I learned a great deal. For example, how the mistress of the house goes shopping. She doesn't go to the store. The store comes to her. Bring them in. I'm okay. What do I need more medication for? It's just an IV drip. It's, it's more a precaution than a necessity. Guards against infection. I mean, you really are fine. 
Uh, that's good news, buddy. Yeah, thanks. There you are. This won't take very long. Well, in the meantime, you can tell me what it is you wanted to say. Uh, Luis, can this just wait till she's done? No, Luis said it was important. I want to know what it was about. Yes, well, I'm sure that you do, but it's going to have to wait till your IV drip is over. So, can everyone please leave the room? Doctor's orders. You can come back later. Luis? You better go. Wait a minute, what's the deal here? I don't even get a kiss from my fiance. Oh, of course. Oh, easy, pal. It's not gonna be like this much longer. It'll not be. See you later. See you guys later. You said that we could tell Antonio about me and Sheridan as soon as you gave him a clean bill of health. Look, Luis. I'm sorry. I have to go. Damn it. I just want to tell Antonio that you and I are engaged. And we will. We'll do it very soon. On the hand, maybe quite continental, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. A kiss may be grand, but won't pay the rental on your humble flat or help you at the auto map. He's your guy when stocks are high, but beware when they start to descend. Place. It's gonna be worth millions. Just what do you think you're doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm shopping, Julian. What do you think I should buy first? Oh, oh, never mind. Why would I trust your taste in anything anyway? It's like being in King Tut's tomb. Yeah, too bad it's not Teresa's. I hate leaving you alone to deal with Kay today. Listen, maybe I should stay home this morning. Look, I'll question Julian this afternoon. Right, no, Sam, now you're the one who's overreacting. You know, we'll both be better after a good night's sleep, and Kay and I will just have a good old-fashioned mother-daughter talk. Well, I hope she's more receptive today than she was last night. Yeah, I hope so, too. And I keep remembering the first time I held her in my arms. Well, she was a beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. I know, a girl, I was so excited, my first daughter. I thought we'd always have a special bond because of that. Listen, you're gonna get it back. Oh, I don't know, Sam. She seems to be so far from me now. I so badly want to reach her. You will. Okay. Are you sure? Are you sure you want me to leave? Oh, absolutely. Look, you go give Julian a hard time. And I'll go upstairs and convince Kay that I love her as much as all the other children. Good luck. I know you can do it. I am so sorry, Kay. I, 
I didn't know you were in here. I, I should have knocked before That's I came. Okay. Miguel, I wanted you to actually. Oh. Hey, what are you doing? Um, it's it's not Kay's fault, Mrs. Bennett. I just walked in without knocking. I had no idea that Kay was in the shower. The water wasn't running? I had just turned it off. Put this on, Kay. You've got your own shower. Why didn't you use that one? Jessica was in my bathroom, so I used this one. Is that a crime? No, I was just... Never mind. Miguel, there's a shower down the hall. Why don't you use that one? Yeah, sure. I'm really sorry. No, Miguel. And it's not your fault. You're in a hurry to get back to the hospital to see Charity and your brother. My brother? What, what's wrong with Luis? I'm in Antonio. What? Oh, my gosh. You didn't know. Your brother's back in town, but he had to spend the night in the hospital. Thanks, Mrs. Bennett. I, I gotta go. Okay. Oh, drats. I should have told him about a situation between Antonio and Luis. Well, I'm sure if you run, you can catch him. You're not getting rid of me that easily, you get dressed, and we will have a talk downstairs. And why? So you can blame me for this, too? Just get dressed. <sighs> Thank you. I know Eve said that Antonio was all better now, but I, yeah. I kind of sense something. You know? She got beeped, Pilar. She's not holding out on us. I hope not. Yeah, I'm with Hank. Antonio looks fine. Right now, we've gotten the clearance from Dr. Russell. He's going to hear the truth about me and Sheridan. I'm so sorry I had to rush off like that, but it was an emergency. Okay. It's all right. It's your job. So, how long before Luis and I can tell Antonio what we have to tell him? Yeah. It is time that he'd find out that I'm in love with his brother. We can tell him today, can't we? You know, that's the thing. I knew it. There's something wrong, right? I think that we should go to my office and talk. We could do it more easily there. Oh, my God. Hank, would you go in and just keep Antonio's spirits up while he's on the IV? Yeah, sure thing. Come on, let's go to my office. Thing, Julian. Surely you didn't forget about the baby. Look, he needs just about everything. Oh. oh. What? These, these are from Paris. I, I had them flown them last night. Um, there are some perfectly good baby stores locally. How nice for the local mothers. Oh, will you look at this? comes in so many colors. What's going on? Pull up a chair. You're going to enjoy this as much as I am. Teresa's sticking it to Julie. Oh, and look at this little sailor suit. Little Ethan will look so adorable in it. All right, you've had your fun at my expense. The circus is now over. I want you people to take your merchandise and get out. Oh, I, I don't want them to leave yet. I, I'm not finished. Well, then buy something and send them on their way. All right, Julian, I will. Okay, okay. I want everything. I want it all. What? Yes, I want everything they showed me. Oh, Phyllis, will you check out the furniture that I ordered for my mother? You know, of course, it will be in storage because uh, we have to wait for her new house to be completed. I can't believe this. Oh, Julian. 
man would complain if I ordered so much as a bracelet. Purchases up to my room, Charla. Isn't anybody going to help him? Uh, apparently not. You see, my husband, he, he doesn't have a lot of friends. Only ex-wives. We, um, better do something to wake him up. I was thinking the exact same thing you were thinking. Oh. Julian, wake up. Oh. It's time to pay the nice people. Oh, here you are, sir. This is preposterous. I think it's great. I don't know what you have up your sleeve, but it better be good, because if it's not, Ethan is going to slip through my fingers once again. For once, your timing is on target, Chief Bennett. I want Teresa arrested for highway robbery. I don't think so. Your wife is just charging a few things on your credit card, and I think she deserves a lot. Well, we'll just see about that. Listen, I need to ask you a few more questions. Would you rather do it here or someplace more private? Uh, we'll go to the library. This better be important. Oh, it is. Um, you can take the stairs, uh, go all the way down the first quarter, last door on your right. Thanks. My, my. They certainly do grow you people nervy on the other side of town. Smarter too, Rebecca. Smarter than you and Ivy by a long shot. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I've been waiting for this call. Yes. Oh, well, just tell me what I want to hear. Really? <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Oh, don't, don't tell me. You just landed yourself a job as a phone sex operator. <sighs> Not exactly. But this call is worth much more than a job. Much more. Teresa, I'd enjoy all this. Pity's inclined to last much longer. <laughs> I hope we didn't come at that time. Oh, no, don't be so. I'm just waiting for Kay to come downstairs so then a little heart to heart. How are you? Fine, huh? Is everything okay? <laughs> Everything's fine. Nothing for you to concern yourself with. <laughs> nope, just me. Giving our sainted mother a hard time. Kay. What, Mom? John's family, why shouldn't he hear the whole ugly truth about what a horrible person All right, Craig, that's enough. Oh, we could come back to the time if it's better. I just wanted to thank you for the breakfast you left for me. Ooh, John, what'd she leave you? Pancakes? Bacon? Homemade biscuits? Yeah, it was amazing. I bet. You want to know what I get for breakfast? Cold cereal. All right, Kay, now you're exaggerating. I left you cold cereal one day last week because I had to go to the shop early. Mm -hmm. If you want pancakes, they're in the kitchen. Cold, no doubt. Hey, sis, you want to go for a ride or something? Mom said she'd loan me the car today. First of all, my name is Kay, not sis. And no, I don't want to go anywhere with you. Okay. John, I'm... The keys are in the kitchen. Why don't you help yourself? Thanks. See you later. Easy does it, okay? Easy does it yourself, bro. All right, Kay, that is enough. I'm not in front of David. Oh, why not? David is your first husband, isn't he? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. He's still your husband in the eyes of the church. Is that why John gets to borrow the car and I don't? Oh, okay, you're way over the line right now. Firstly, John is older than you are. Oh, so that's why I come second? Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. Fit, because I forgot about Jessica, Noah, and Charity. Oh, wait, 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 wait. 
daddy's son, Ethan. Forgot about him six. All right, young lady, you can feel as sorry for yourself as you want to, but you still owe me an explanation for what I walked in on upstairs. Miguel already explained it to you. He walked in on me on accident while I was in the shower. Is that really what it was? Okay, I am worried about you. We'll join the club. Because I'm worried about me, too. You know why? Because nobody around here gives a flying fig about me. Okay, that is not true. Now, I'm not saying I haven't made some mistakes, but I have always been a loving and caring mother. Oh, is that what you think? You know, last night you asked me where you went wrong as a mother. Do you really want to know the answer to that question or not? How you doing? Uh, not too bad, considering how much I want to get out of here. Uh, no offense, by the way. None taken. I'll be back to check on you in a while. Okay. Sitting here counting the minutes. I wish Luis would come back in here and tell me what it is he was going to tell me. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know what it is, would you? How would I know? I don't know. I just, you know, judging by the look on his face, I could tell it was pretty important. But I guess I'll find out soon enough when Dr. Russell lets people come back in here. I don't see how it could be anything bad, though. I mean, considering all the garbage my family's been through lately. I mean, come on, what else could go wrong, huh? <laughs> Luis, will you shut the door behind you, please? Please, I, I don't like the tone of your voice. What is wrong with Antonio? Y you said he was going to be fine. I know I did. You were lying? I didn't want to upset him. Oh, dear God, I knew it. No, well, I want you to stay calm. I didn't tell Antonio the truth because, because I felt it would be injurious to his condition. Well, you're going to level with us now, aren't you? Please, Eve, what is wrong with Antonio? I'm going to make this quick. I don't have all day. What was my wife's intent on spending every last dime of the crane billions in one morning? What's this about? Teresa. What has she done now? This is about what was almost done to her. You know, I'm trying to decide whether or not to file attempted murder charges against you, Julian. Oh, this is outrageous. I told you I knew nothing of Teresa's impending execution. I, I had nothing to do with it. Why would anyone believe that when you stayed away from Harmony until after you thought she was dead? I gotta tell you, Julie, at the moment, things are really bad for you. What are you saying? I'm saying that if we can prove that you set your wife up, you could end up in the death chamber yourself. I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I think that this is a show that Teresa's putting on for you. Why would she do that? To impress you. And it's working. Gwen, look, I'm just glad to see someone put Julian in his place. Look, the last thing on Teresa's mind is me right now. She just wants what's rightfully hers and to take care of her son. Okay, what about the job that she demanded at Crane Industries? She wants to better herself. She wants to move up in the world and contribute in some way meaningful. And there's nothing wrong with that, is there? No. No, of course not. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, Rebecca. Time. My advice to you is to just enjoy all of this while you can. As if you could do anything to take this away from me. <laughs> don't underestimate me, Teresa. You don't have to grow up in the gutter to be smart. Kay, you can't talk to your mother like that. This is none of your business, so butt out. Kay, I thought you wanted to hear what a great mother you've been to me. Well, for starters... You always make sure you put me first. Unless Jessica, Charity, Noah, or anyone else in Harmony is having a bad day. You always take care of my needs. Unless somebody else is getting your attention first. 
You always take my side when it comes to things or people that I love, unless someone else you care about loves that same person, and then you don't. Okay, Miguel loves Jared. I'm not finished yet. Last but not least, you always are very sensitive as to what it's like being your daughter. I mean, how many kids get to have moms with premonitions and amnesia who have husbands that turn up out of nowhere? You don't have any more of those hanging around in your past, do you? Kay. I thought you were going to stay out of this, David. Although, come to think of it, you do have some rights. Considering you're the only one around here with a legal relationship to my mother. Did it ever occur to you how difficult it would be on me finding out that I was your bastard? I will not have you using that language in my house. But bastard is the correct term for what I am, isn't it? Just like bitch is the right term for you. Get your hands off me! With the exception of this place, life's pretty perfect right now. I'm back home in Harmony, surrounded by my family, my friends. I'm engaged with the most beautiful woman in the world. I really don't have a damn thing to complain about. I don't get it. Why did you lie to my brother about his condition? I didn't want to. And I had to under the circumstances. What circumstances? What is wrong with my son exactly? Antonio's dying. He's dying as we speak. 